So I just did one of the best and cleanest trims I've ever done on this channel. This is a very proud Graham Parker and you're watching the Hoof GP YouTube channel. So this cow clearly has cracking around the heel bulb of her outer front claw. We call that the lateral claw. Lateral meaning side, medial is the middle. So the inside claw is the medial claw, the outside is the lateral. And this cow has seriously high heels, meaning that there's a problem within the heel area of her foot. It's not that it's overgrowing, it's underwearing. She's avoiding putting any pressure on that part of her foot so it doesn't wear away and it stays really high just like this. I know she's got a white line defect, a problem that is eating right up into the heart of her foot, or at least the heart of the white line junction which is where the wall horn meets the inside of her foot. And I know these are incredibly sore. So I'm going to do the very best possible job I can to get her healed as quickly as we possibly can and back to full health and comfort. Because I'm absolutely certain that the pain this cow is feeling is isolated to her outer claw, I'm already preparing the inner or medial claw to take a block so that the glue can be drying whilst I'm trimming that outer one. I need to make sure it is completely dry and free of hoof oils so that that glue sticks 100% solid. And then it's time to tackle this foot. Just look at the amount of gunge behind that hoof horn. All of that was creating extra pressure and every time she stood, her horn was pushing that slurry and manure and any particles within it into the corium of her foot, which is what was causing the problem. But this is definitely not the full extent of her problem. Believe it or not, there's a really deep hole hiding right in the middle of all of that gunk. This area of a cow's hoof is called the heel bulb and it's actually made of a completely different type of hoof horn. This hoof horn is called periopal horn. It's soft and squidgy and pliable and as you pull against it with your knife it tries to flex away from the blade. It's difficult to tell through feel alone whether or not underneath what you're cutting is flesh, tissue or periopal horn because it all feels so similar. You see, washing it out like that actually exposes how deep that hole is and I've got a much better idea of what I need to remove. From this angle, you can see that hole extends all the way up through her hoof horn, right the way to the corium. And we need to remove every part of hoof horn which helps to form that hole so that whatever is at the heart of this hole can begin to heal. It's a delicate process and cleaning the area really helps, but having some patience helps even more. This is in my way. See how much dirt and manure they attract. Most of that is actually dirt, look. Like a big poo dumpling, kind of. Now that those overgrown dew claws and that poo dumpling are out of the way, I can really concentrate on the finer details of this trim. I told you it was clean, didn't I? Like I said, I try my best on every single trim that I ever do. Not just in the ones I do on the video for you guys, but the ones I do all of the time. Every cow I try my best, but they don't always turn out exactly how I would like them to. But this one did exactly that. This is very proud Graham Parker, as I said in the intro. 
and you were watching the Hoof GP. If you made it this far, you might as well subscribe because it stands to reason you kind of sort of maybe liked it a little bit. Catch you later. Bye.